assistance of Warren Fire Department, one of our uh, patrol supervisors who has training in uh, confined rescue and uh, evidence tech work, uh, was lowered down in the drain with one of the uh, fire uh, EMTs and recovered the two uh, pieces of what we believe to be human remains. Can you describe what you saw, what was discovered down there and what you believe it is? It, what was uh, recovered was uh, two pieces, uh, approximately four inch by four inch of skin with body fat attached to it. Now, what is your concern about this? In other words, it, this is the same thing that you saw with, in Sterling Heights, right? Yes, uh, a couple, three months ago, in Sterling Heights, there was similar body parts uh, recovered uh, and uh, were confirmed to be human remains. And these uh, pieces of remains do look similar uh, to those pieces that were covered in Sterling Heights. The person's white, but you didn't have tattoos this time as opposed to last, right? Correct. This is a Caucasian person. Um, these pieces are not believed to be in the, uh, have been put in the drain at the same time uh, because they appear to have been preserved. They're in too good a condition to have been there for this long a period of time. Can you talk about the conditions down there and the theory behind that? I mean, obviously someone's criminal mind is, might be working behind this. Right. Uh, it's The temperature is much warmer uh, in the drain than above surface. In fact, they said it was about 65 degrees down there today, which would facilitate decomposition in this case. Uh, we know that those body parts could not have been down there for very long. And where could, I mean, does it, it could have been dropped anywhere, potentially? Potentially, we'll have to uh, investigate more as to where the potential boundary limits are for the dumping. Mm -hmm. Do you think someone parts. is methodically dumping this at, at different times? We can't confirm that yet. 